Hey there, my name is Provis. Been a while since we last played Stellaris on the channel, huh? Well, we're gonna change that today because I love this game and I think it's only getting better with age and I really miss it, so I want to play it. Now, it does so happen the game recently had a major update, version 3.1, the Lem update, which rebalanced a few things as well as changing up traditions and adding in a new empire origin, which looks really fun and potentially really powerful. We're gonna find out if I can use it effectively. I've created a faction called the Cult of Provis which I think some of you guys are going to appreciate. It does make use of the new clone army origin, and the way this is gonna work is we'll have a couple of ancient clone vats, which will very rapidly build up my population in the early game, slowly tapering off and then eventually capping out at 20 pops per vat, and you can only ever have five vats across your entire empire. So there's an upper limit to how many of these pops we can have, which is kind of bad in the late game, but really good in the early game because more early game pops means more early game economy, which means more snowballing. But on top of this, the clones also have better admirals, 25% extra ship fire rate and 10% reduced ship upkeep. That's pretty good in and of its own right, but believe it or not, we can make this even more powerful with some events later on. This is going to be a great militaristic sieve, uh, which is going to suit my playstyle just fine. As far as government and ethics, I thought about going for materialists so we could have robots supplement my population and also go for some more tech rushing. But instead, I'm going to go for fanatic spiritualist for three different reasons. One, we're a cult. It just makes sense. Two, we cannot follow the synthetic ascension or the bioengineered ascension as a clone army, which means the only ascension path left is psychic spiritual powers. So why not just go ahead and use that? And three, by picking this up, we can take the death cult civic, which I think will be pretty powerful with a clone army. Also, again, suits the theme very nicely. Death priests are really good, but then what we can do is sacrifice some of our mortal pops in order to gain empire-wide bonuses. And my thought is, if the ancient clone vats kind of peter out and stop uh, at the uh, upper echelon of 20 pops per vat, that's just wasted growth potential. Why not sacrifice some of those pops whenever we're getting close to the top and uh, get the vats back to work and repopulate my planets, but also just make everyone else better? So the Death Cult might be great if this goes the way I think it will. It may not. We're going to find out. On top of that, though, I am going to go for Militarist for the No Retreat War Doctrine and also some extra ship fire rates. This is going to give my DPS ludicrous numbers. And we're going to go for an Oligarchic Authority. I wanted to go for Imperialism, but um, Faction Influence gain, pretty helpful with the Death Cult because we're going to be using up some early game influence. Getting a bit more could be nice. As far as my last Civic, I was a bit on the fence of what to go with here. I kind of thought about going for Exalted Priesthood for the extra theme, or maybe Distinguished Admirality for even more ship fire rate, but I'm going to go for Functional Architecture because I think we need it. This got buffed in the last patch, it now gives two building slots instead of one. And with our population growing as fast as it is, those extra building slots are going to help me direct my economy in the direction I want it to go. So we can actually provide enough jobs and also maybe go for extra research labs or ally production. You get the idea. I think this is necessary for the clones. Then as far as traits, for our species we are intelligent because science is still king, that has not changed. Traditional, because we're going to have the death priests, we might as well enjoy extra unity so I can rush down the traditions uh, tree. And charismatic, which might seem a bit weird, because I don't really care that much about amenities, but because we have a limited number of pops able to work jobs, I want every one of those jobs to be impactful. And every job I have to waste trying to produce amenities is just stupid, and I hate it. So extra amenities from jobs hopefully means that I can be a bit more efficient with my jobs with all my different pops. Beyond that, sedentary, because I'm never going to resettle these pops or they'll die. They can't be far from their clone vats. And unruly, because Empire Sprawl isn't really that big of a deal. Beyond that, uh, you know, a fun little fact, we're going to be going for a uh, modded in GLaDOS voice because Sometimes it's fun. And also we are going to be going chambers. for a Necroid style of uh, character and ships, you know, just because I think they look kind of cool and I haven't played with a Necrophage yet on the channel. All right. So let's go ahead and start up our game. Now, I will be playing on a medium galaxy with 10 other empires, a couple of advanced starts. I'm not going to mess with too many of the default settings, except we're going to be going for a cheaper tech tradition cost because I think this is standard for multiplayer. And also, we do want to be playing on Grand Admiral difficulty, which is going to be a bit of a stretch for me. I haven't done that yet, but I think it is going to be a fun adventure. Okay, here we are in our starting system. Let's take a look at the map. Um... Looks like we have a no choke points up this direction. Maybe one here and here. Maybe another one over here. Okay, two or three choke points all in one direction. Not bad. 
uh, three potentially habitable planets, including one that is of my type, only size 15, but still, that is certainly something. Okay. Yeah, we'll want to explore down here as soon as we can and find out what is going on by these choke points, get a good lay of the land and decide where we are going to want to expand. Let's go ahead and choose our science. Uh, I guess we're going to go for blue laser here. Probably some society research, though the extra unity is nice, and engineering research because we want to get our science up and rolling as fast as we can. Uh, okay, so beyond this, what other things do we want to do? Well, let's go to our ship designer, and we are going to take these corvettes, and we are going to clear out the design and strip them for as many alloys as possible. The reason we do this is because we're not going to need any of these ships in the early game. We might as well harvest them for extra alloys, which I can then sell to get extra minerals to get my economy up and running a little bit faster. As far as some policies, I'll go ahead and swap over to Isolationist, which gets me extra unity, uh, which will be helpful. Um, beyond that, first contact, I guess we'll go for probably proactive, so we can try to farm out some extra influence. Economic policy, I'll move to militarize later, but I don't need to do that right now. Um, and I think that's kind of all we need to do this exact second. We'll rearrange some of these later. For edicts, we can see we already have some options as far as making sacrifices of our pops in order to gain some benefits. For example, sacrifice a pop, get 10% extra unity and 5% growth speed. Or we can go for happiness and growth speed. Or we can go for minerals and energy credits and growth speed. And the minimum you get is, I think, 5% uh, in these effects but you can get up to 30%, and the more of your percentage population you sacrifice every time you click this button, the more likely you're going to get a higher value. So these can be phenomenally good with any luck at all. So we'll want to do that, but before we do that, let's first go and work a couple things here in our capital. For example, we're going to turn off our enforcer, get some crime going, then we are going to make a negotiated deal with the crime lords, which gets me more stability. It does take up a criminal job, which I hate, but I think the extra stability will end up making everyone just a little bit better. Then we can bring things back down. We also want to turn down these clerks. In fact, we may just turn those off entirely. Technicians are going to be a higher priority. Yeah, we have enough amenities, so why even have a single clerk is my question. They're still a joke. There's only one Empire build that I know of that actually makes good use of those. We're going to want more research jobs here pretty soon, and I think the best way to do that then is to start building up a research lab ASAP. That's going to take us, I think, 300 minerals. So what we can do is go to the market and do a few shenanigans over here. First off, we can sell some food and some consumer goods and some alloys. We're going to set up some monthly trade deals to sell off some of our excess food production and our excess consumer goods production. And then we're going to be buying some extra minerals per uh, month cycle. And hopefully my energy can support this. We'll rearrange this quite a few times. I do believe. All right, is there anything else here that I feel like I really need to do before we unpause the game? I don't think so, so let's go ahead and unpause. So we should be able to rebuild this uh, alloy production pretty quick. There we go. And then we can go ahead and just disband this fleet because we do not need it. Why bother paying the upkeep? Then we're going to go to the market, and we're going to continue selling off some alloys and buy some of these uh, minerals as quick as we can. We're doing this deliberately, selling only a group per day, because I want the prices to reset. If you sell too much too fast, you crash the prices of alloys, which means we have some wasted energy. But that's enough minerals for me to now go to my capital world and build up a research lab. Now, that's going to take more consumer goods for me to operate in due time, but, I mean, for now, eh, yeah, we'll be all right. We can work with this. If I can get even more minerals together, I'll happily go ahead and start building things in our capital world, take advantage of some mining outposts, but not much I can do with that right now. Let's go to our capital shipyard and build another science ship. I'm going to want that. And let's make sure we keep buying out some additional minerals wherever we can. We got plenty of energy to go around with this, and that's kind of all the alloys I'm going to get for the moment. All right, good enough for now. Let's go ahead and take this construction ship and, let's say, start getting some extra mining stations set up. I want to have some extra scientists going around and exploring as fast as we can. I think I'm going to leave these guys alone for now because we will be getting an event for the, um, oh, what's it called? The uh, Habitable World Survey. So I feel like we're going to want to um, keep those around so we can just speed that up a little bit. All these are kind of terrible. I guess I'll go for experience gain, but meh. It's not the best setup. And I'm going to have you go, let's say, down this direction. And let's go find out what's going on in this choke point in that away. Alrighty, fair enough. Oh, uh, we forgot to actually enact the edict. Let's do that. So here's the thing about the edicts, right? 
Um, getting an extra 5% minimum energy and mineral production is nice, but I also really like stability, because the higher your stability is, the more resources you get for all jobs, right? So high stability just means everyone, including research, is better. So if we go to Edicts here and we want to sacrifice a pop, we can do that, and we got 30% extra happiness in our capital. So this is about to go up to 94, which means we just made another 14% resources on all jobs, including energy and minerals, but mm, yeah, research and stuff. I mean, that's pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and turn off this mortal initiate job. We're not going to be able to sacrifice anybody for another five years or so. And uh, this guy, I think, only produces, what is it? A little bit of society research. Mech. Mech. I'd rather have you go and work, let's say, more of the mineral jobs and stuff like that. All right. This is where I think that the uh, cultists could end up being pretty good. Being able to sacrifice a pop, who is going to regenerate very quickly, by the way. We're getting 14 pop assembly per month, which is ludicrous. Seems pretty good. It just makes Situation everything now. that much better. So, yeah. I don't know. This, this is the entire point of this build. We'll see if it actually works. Found remnants of an alien civilization. Mm. How exciting. Uh, I don't care. Aliens are here to be purged, all right? That's that's all that they exist for at the end of the day. We have our first round of society research with our traditions. Now, traditions got a bit of an overhaul here. We have a couple of new ones. I think adaptability is new. We also have mercantile, subterfuge, unyielding, etc. Um, prosperity has been buffed and is now really good. 20% extra mining station output at the beginning is pretty good. When you're done with this, you get even more stability, which we've already learned is resources per jobs. Plus, 5% research per jobs just flat. That does include your specialists, which is the most important pop up type. And then, of course, we get our Ascension perk. But down here, we get another 5% specialist pop resource output. And since I do want to go for a tech rush, this is really good. Normally, I go for Discovery or Expansion, but I think Prosperity is now a viable top-tier pick at the beginning of the game, so that's why we are going to be going for that. My second pick could be Supremacy if we find that we have a neighbor nearby and we want to go for an early aggression, or we could go for Discovery if System we want to go for more complete. science. And I really do value the tech rushing in this game. It is quite powerful uh, if you can pull that off. So I, I kind of want to do that. I'd love to go for a cruiser rush, if possible. Uh, ideally, what you do is have a build that can get you up to uh, your cruiser rush by, I think it's... 2230, I think. Um, by the way, actually, let's not waste my minerals here right now because we need to buy some more minerals and try to build another district. We've already finished with some of our stuff, and let's keep in mind that my population will be growing rapidly. So let's get ourselves a generator district so we can get even more money. I think that will be useful to me. Just needed some minerals. And we still have a few extras, so sure. All right, go ahead and get that research station going. Get me some of that extra beautiful, beautiful... Uh, engineering research. Engineering, by the way, is arguably the most important research type in the game because it gets you some good weapons as well as those ship types and upgrades for your star bases and stuff. Everything's important, but I favor in, uh, industry, System personally, or in, uh, engineering, personally. Uh, let's go for the buildings and districts cost reduction, uh, which will save you minerals and also increase their build speed. In fact, if we had timed this a little differently, maybe we could have gone for a cheaper generator district, but it's complete. mostly done at this point. Let's just go ahead and finish that out. As far as my construction ship, where do we want to go? Uh, we found another planet. It is a pretty large ocean world, actually. Maybe we should go for this first. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and build out a star base in this direction. Start saving up some influence. Try working our way down here. Colonizing this soon could be kind of helpful. Running out of food already. All right, hang on. Let's uh, cancel this and stop selling our food, at least for now. We're going to need more, but I think that's because some of my jobs have probably rearranged a bit. What's going on here? Yeah, we don't have as many people working in the farming job. More technicians. Which is okay. Uh, I can probably pull back on maybe... Eh, you know, I'm okay on food at the moment. We can, we can sustain this for at least a few months before we have to rearrange everything. We might as well just keep it as is. Get the extra energy and stuff, right? Uh, I need a little bit more minerals, and then we will be able to build another research lab, which will take up more of my consumer goods, but if we have more people working over here, is pretty good. Uh, I would like to... Do we need the Enforcer? I mean, with everyone this happy, I don't think that we do. We might as well turn that off. Yeah, we could also turn off Bureaucrats, because we don't need this much Empire Sprawl, but... Yeah, all right. Do we just go ahead and buy some more of the minerals? I think the answer is yes. We can go ahead and just immediately start building out another research lab. This is a little bit cheaper now. Save me 40 minerals, and it'll build a little faster. That's pretty helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves another bunch of generating districts. Or, sorry, mining stations. Whatever, you get the point. 
All right, looking solid here so far. Uh, everything's kind of going according to plan. We could go for more housing, which isn't bad normally because extra housing just means you can stack up more pops on a single planet. But uh, since we're only ever going to have 40 pops on our capital, unless we build up more clone vats, I don't know how important that is. Rather, I would go for the building upkeep and district upkeep reduction so we can improve our economy System ever so slightly. The survey is done. Good. All right. So this planet doesn't have any special modifiers on it. Complete. Tons of potential industrial districts on it. Wow. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, encounter in two. We have discovered some aliens. What? Aliens? What kind of aliens? Is it another player? Uh, no. It is the Tianki. The space squids. We like space squids. Let's go ahead and start researching them. Make first contact. It's an important moment for all of us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build out another science ship. I think we're going to need three by the end of this. And I'm going to go ahead and move you in this direction, though we won't be able to construct a new outpost anomaly over here for a little bit. Found um, a anomaly. We'll go ahead and start researching that, I guess. It's pretty easy, so might as well. Um, Capital World is doing pretty good. About to be done with the research lab. Let's go ahead and remove this enforcer. I think we'll get a new pop here pretty soon, though. We can leave this as is for the moment. He'll just go right to the research job, I believe. And we do need to get ourselves a new scientist. Who are we going to get? Nobody with anomaly abilities or excavation. I really wanted an excavation guy, so this is kind of unfortunate. Guess we'll go for the youngest one, who's the most likely to live for a while. Uh, it does so happen that clones have a pretty short lifespan, so your leaders are not going to live for very long. So that's an unfortunate reality. Uh, monthly trade price is too high or too low. I don't see how that's possible. All right. Fine, fair enough. Uh, let's see. So we have that extra research going. Uh, I'm going to say that research is always going to be a top priority for people. Asteroid collision. Okay, we find some extra mineral potential. That's good. Um, we're going to need to get some more districts. The question is, do I want more energy? Do I want more mining? Probably more energy at the end of the day. It's pretty efficient to use. Something just energy. happened and I missed it. I think it was a planetary anomaly. Planetary build speed or Scientific minerals? Um achieved. Probably the planetary build speed, believe it or not. Uh, we're not going to go for robot bots like ever, so I don't think I don't think we need to go for that mineral path. Uh, hydroponics bays will fix a lot of my food problems, and the reason that's really good is because uh, we're going to be you know hurting for jobs once we get up to our maximum population. So being able to offload a lot of those jobs to produce food, so we can work on other things, is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, it turns out. Uh, this construction ship can now build a star base. Let's go ahead and work on that. And then over here, we could go ahead and build a colony ship, though I need a little bit more food and some more of these consumer goods. First off, let's stop selling those for now, which is going to hurt my energy production, but oh well. Uh, we could start automatically selling off at least a few of these mineral uh, alloys, which I'm okay with to sustain me for a bit longer. It's a lot of energy out of that. Um... Yeah, we need to buy we need to buy a few things. On our capital world, let's go ahead and build another generator district. And let's get that specialist pop output so we get even more science and unity. We're already up to 147 science and we're three years in the game. That's not half bad at the end of the day. Uh, this is a harder anomaly. I think I will leave that alone for now. We still haven't gotten the situation log for... Yeah, we haven't gotten the situation log for um, surveying planets yet. Mm, that's unfortunate. Oh well, we may just lose some potential over here. I was hoping to get that event and maybe, uh, you know, just get some extra, what is it, energy or something? Oh, there it is! Habitable World Survey. Perfect. Go ahead and do it now. And we have at least three worlds we can survey. Hopefully some others, but we've kind of wasted that opportunity. Scientific maybe we'll find more, though. Achieved. Blue laser is done. Um, I think we're going to go for the extra science. And we have learned about the Tianki, which means now we have frequency and tuning and as a, re a, a research. I do not care about the energy siphon, so forget that. That is pointless. We need to buy some of these consumer goods. I need a bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and sell off some stuff, System buy more there, and let's build up a colony ship. And we'll go colonize this very large world. We need to save up System some minerals so we can build a couple more clone vats, System and we found an excavation complete. site. That's good. Okay. Uh, this science ship is done over here. So what have we learned? Um, this is a choke point, and this is a choke point, and the rest of the space is basically contained, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and continue surveying out in these different directions, find out what's going on over here. Do I want to get myself another science ship? Tempting. Oh, wow, two more planets. We have a lot of planets in this world, or in this uh, sector. That's kind of crazy, actually. 
Um, I probably want to start working my way down this way to claim some choke points. So let's go ahead and start moving in this direction. Of course, we'll need to spend our influence on that, but that is fine with me. Debated origin. Here's events we're looking for. Okay. With our recent arrival into space, the differing views on our origin are rapidly turning into a schism. Extremist groups are rapidly attracting more clones. Our strong unity is broken. Some view the creators as gods to be worshipped and obeyed and believe we were made in their image. They would do nothing except maintain the status quo. Others curse our ancient masters for their actions, labeling them as slavers and would see them repaid in full. An excavation site has been established on our capital to verify the facts and put the debate to rest. Before we turn to space, we should exhaust all immediate possibilities. Our nation is old. Many generations of clones lived and died here. Beneath the ancient structures of our homeworld, some significant clues are bound to be waiting for us. This is where we are going to need to have someone doing an excavation project. And getting an excavation scientist would be huge. Well, okay. I mean, at the end of the day, I'll go for the research speed guy. That's, that's still pretty good. Um, what do I want to swap it out for? Probably engineering, if I'm being honest, though this is nice. Wait, you're already, re you're maniacal. We have maniacal in all three of our scientists? What the crud? Wow. That's unexpected. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and swap you out for a spark of genius, which is slightly better, but hey, that's, that's pretty good. There's our excavation site. I still really would love to find out that we're going to get an excavation guy. Gosh dang it. I could keep spending my energy fishing for one, but I'm not sure I can afford that right now. Let's go ahead and build out a city district here because uh, this will get me another building slot for even more research labs if we want it, which would be good. We are exploring some of these. We found an anomaly. We'll go ahead and survey that. Getting some more experience on my scientists. So that's nice. Yeah, an excavating guy would have been great, um, but it looks like we are not going to get lucky with that right now. So at some point, I'll need to turn one of my more uh, experienced scientists over here to work on this excavation project. In fact, the sooner we do that, probably the better. Let you finish out surveying the system. Oh, what's this? Hello. We found some stuff. Cool. Um, once you're done with this, uh, go ahead and do excavation. Strategic research. We found some exotic gases. I like that. The faster we can do this, the better, but it's going to take a little bit of luck. So the colony ship is done. Let's go ahead and colonize this planet. We will need to save up some minerals. Otherwise, our population will rapidly die off, and that's obviously terrible. Let's claim this. More unity. Um, this is terrible because all it does is give you clerks, and I have no need for clerks, so I guess we'll go for the housing. But we will need to pick this up to just finish off the prosperity tree soon enough and go for that sweet, sweet tech ascendance. Which I love. Tech ascendance is good. Once you're done surveying this, go ahead and head Scientific back and work on these planets. Achieved. What do we get? Hydroponics. Thank you. I'm going to go for the monthly unity. And on our star base, we are going to swap you around and make you into a hydroponics bay. Let's just go for that extra food. Speaking of food, I think we can go ahead and start selling a lease a little bit off. We will need more sooner or later, but for now, this is okay. So we'll start making a little bit of extra energy. Complete. Cool. Still buying out a handful of minerals. I guess we could buy even more. Maybe sell a little less in the alloy department. I do need a good stockpile of alloys at some point if we are going to be going for an early aggression, which, I mean, I want to do. Uh, so let's see. Where is the available guy? Hi, you. Yes, you. Um, you are going to head down here and survey these systems and find out what else is going on in these areas. I want to know. Can you show me? Uh, it's going to be a while before we have established a colony on this new world, so we got some time to go ahead and build out at least a couple of these mining stations. Get some extra minerals. Six, for example, right here. Pretty good. We'll go for three more right over there. There you go. That'll be nice. That'll be fan flipping -tastic. So we have another building slot. Do we want to go for, you guessed it, more research? We only have one job left, so we need to be building stuff soon. Uh, hello. Thank you. First cultist's colony. We got some extra engineering. Nice. A toad asteroid. We find even more engineering. Great. I like that. Let's sell some... Actually, let's just go ahead and buy a bit of minerals. And then on our capital world, yeah, we're going to build another research lab. Let's keep an eye on these consumer goods. We're going to start running a deficit at some point. We'll have to buy some. But that's all right. We have finished with our Harmony Edict, which means we need to go back to the capital. And we are going to allow for a mortal initiate, who we are then going to murder for Harmony and make people happy again. 15% this time, so not nearly as good, but oh well. And then turn this job back off rather than waste it. Let people go do other things. We'll be able to reassemble that pot pretty quickly, I think. But uh, yeah, losing a bit of stability does mean we've lost a bit of my um, a bit of my production. We'll live with it though. Uh, I don't think that the crime's really going to hurt me too much. Although we do have three criminal jobs here, which is hurting my trade value. 
I'd like to somehow rearrange this. Can we just uh, prioritize stuff here? Yeah, see, by doing this, we've managed to get one person to leave their crime job. We got them to leave their life of crime. I mean, why that works, I don't know, but it does. So I'll just take the extra energy. Engineering, what do we want? Strikecraft? I mean, maybe. Yeah, I mean, for early game defense, it's pretty solid. Strikecraft are some of the best things in the game. Let's go ahead and get a research station, I guess, for a little bit of extra physics while we wait. Um, we could go for another science ship. I'm not sure we need that. Another construction ship isn't necessary yet at this stage. We don't have enough influence production to go ahead and grow fast. Silicon life forms and an abandoned amusement park. Hello, free research. I'll take it. That's always pretty good. So we got this done. Um, I guess 5% research is better. So you should now be on your way, right? Let's see. No, you're not quite done researching everything over here, but you're getting really close. I think one more thing and then you can move on to go for the complete. excavation. Faster we can do that, the better. Faster we can do that, the better. Now we're starting to run lower on food because our population has grown. Let's go ahead and stop Anomalous selling quite so much. More anomalies detected. are still nice. Uh, leave that one alone, though. That's a little too hard. And we're going to need the extra consumer goods now. Because, it so happens, we have an extra research lab, which means we're now up to 190 science uh, six years into the game. That's better. A little bit of extra unity. All right, we could go for some tile blockers, or I guess we could go for pop growth speed. I mean, it's not great for a clone, but we'll still we'll still take it. It's all right. Uh, let's sell off a little extra food here. We don't need quite this much. We have enough to produce another colony ship, which is going to be fine. Uh, once we explore this, we'll probably go ahead and go over here. I'm watching this planet with the intention of building up a clone vat as soon as we can. We're finding quite a few nice things over here, by the way. Getting exotic gases will be great at some point. Don't need it right now. Um, we can afford to buy a little bit more here. And we can finish up Prosperity. Excellent. All right. That means we can go for our Technological Ascendancy, which is always my choice. As an Ascension perk, an extra 10% research speed is great if you're tech rushing. And, of course, we have the extra stability and everything else, which is just great. I'm going to go for an upgrade to our Coil Gun. Those are usually pretty good weapons. And you're done over here. So the question is, where do we go next? Could go over here once we finish surveying it. Uh, or we could go ahead and claim these choke points. I haven't met another alien yet, which concerns me. I might go over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and work toward this choke point for now. That's probably fine. Pop growth done. We're going pretty fast on some of these uh, jobs all of a sudden. I guess we'll go for the admin capacity. So let's see. Just found a bit of extra energy down there. Kind of boring. Not a lot going on. We're stockpiling at least a few mineral uh, alloys, which will be nice. We could sell off extra to get more energy, but so far we're doing fine. Easy research? Sure, why not? Scientific Do we want another district? Uh, probably. We probably should actually allow our enforcer to get back to work. This crime is going to get annoying. It's starting to affect my amenities, but we're okay on that at the moment. Uh, another industrial district could be a thing. Turn the minerals into consumer goods. Yeah, actually, we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll need these consumer goods at some point. Uh, more energy credits from technicians just improves my economy overall. Much as I like getting the extra research from stations and such, this will be better. You go ahead and build out over here. Everything's looking pretty hunky-dory. Um, we should be making progress on this excavation at this point. Let's see. Yeah, they are working on it. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of works like a siege in EU4, and you have to keep rolling to try and have a chance at actually breaking through it, which can take time. It depends on how lucky you are. Uh, sonified science. More science from an anomaly. Thank you. Ceramo metal armor is probably the better choice of the bunch, because I'm not going to be really using any Corvettes at this point in the game. Complete. You go ahead and build out some more mining stations. We're about to be done on this planet, and we'll want to go for our ancient clone vat Planetary instantly. In fact, on this size of a planet, we're probably going to want to get two. Uh, ancient clone vats are up over here. They build pretty fast, I think. Only 57 days for 390 minerals. A little expensive, and they do have a pretty hefty upkeep, but it'll get me going for a good long while. Uh, so let's see. You finish everything over here. We found more excavation sites. Well, that's fun. So let's see. This guy's already going over here. You're going up over here. I think I'm actually going to send this guy to now go and assist research on my capital. And just get me some extra science. I'd like to get over 200 by the time we are done with this video, which should be coming up in just a moment. Pops are declining, but that's only because we don't have the ancient clone vat. They literally will die off, which is why we can never resettle these guys. Admin capacity is done. Extra food from farmers just means I have more stuff to sell. Speaking of which... 
Let's go and sell off some excess stuff there. We have a new industrial district, so we'll be able to produce more alloys and a lot more consumer goods all of a sudden. In fact, we can stop buying these. So that helps. And still haven't met any neighbors. I'm not sure how I feel about all that. I mean, kind of good. It feels good not to have to worry about these guys right now. But uh, if we want to go for early aggression, I kind of need to find people to, you know, conquer. That's that's kind of a thing. Uh, we're not going to get a lot of mining, and we're not going to get a lot of generating off of this planet. We may want to end up turning this into a forge world, to be honest. Industrial districts and whatnot. Wouldn't be half bad. Um... I think we'll start by building a generator district, and maybe we do want to be getting things like alloy foundries and stuff over here. Anomaly detected. It's not terrible. Could be a thing Scientific for me. Scientific advancement achieved. Let's see, what do we got here? Energy credits have done. Uh, automatic surveying is pretty good. I guess we'll take that. So I can explore a little bit faster and not have to micromanage my science ships complete. quite so much. And I do think we need to be ending up this video pretty soon here. We're going to go over here to start uh, grabbing this planet, because obviously I'd like to be able to colonize a third world, build up another clone vat, if at all possible. We need more minerals. I'm going to go ahead and buy some every couple of days here. System that should be enough. Complete. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and build up an alloy foundry. So we can start producing a lot more alloys. Uh, we're doing okay on consumer goods. Comet sighted. Happiness goes up. Hey, for once, comets actually work to my advantage. What do you know? And how much longer until we can do another one of these? Um, in two years, we can go for another sacrifice to try and get even more happiness. But this time, it will apply to two different planets, which is nice. We may have found two choke points here, actually, depending on what this looks like. Let's go ahead and keep surveying some of these systems. We should also probably do a research project when we get the opportunity. You will then go up over here. Yeah, I mean, I feel pretty decent. This is a good defensive start. Our economy is already looking like it's in a pretty decent spot. We're making solid Scientific progress on our unity. Achieved. And we're working on our excavation for our, um, for our special event. Uh, we'll see how lucky we get with this. So far, we have a 40% chance of breaking through it. There it is! Lost history. All right, hang on. A central dig site has managed to successfully date the installation of one of our clone vats by analyzing the soil beneath the structure, and we've reached a reasonable estimate of when it was placed there. The first of our kind were produced approximately 12 centuries ago. Many generations in history have been lost. Much has passed us by, and perhaps there is something to regret. Now we have to do it again, but it's a very, very high difficulty one, which will probably take me some time. If we're lucky, we get this quick. If not, well, that's going to suck, but we will see. All right, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I think we've got a good start to this series. I don't know how long I'm going to go with Stellaris. Traditionally, it doesn't perform great on the channel. Really depends on what you guys like to see. But I'm hoping we can make this a fun and engaging series and at least get up to the mid-game crisis or maybe kill some fallen empires before we call it quits. Up to you guys, though. So be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. Ha <laughs> ha!